Hello, this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today I'm going to give you a flip through of Saxon Math 1. Please note that I only have the teacher's edition and the part two of the workbooks. The workbooks are split up into two workbooks, so they're not so massive. And there's also a meeting book and flashcards that come with this program. However, I do not have those. Um, so, but the part one and part two are formatted the exact same way. So this will give you an idea of what this looks like. Um, you will need manipulatives for this program. You can purchase a whole set that covers K through third grade, or you can just piece them together from the thrift store or Amazon or wherever you like. This program is designed to be done four days a week with the fifth day used as review if needed. We have the table of contents first. This covers addition and subtraction and patterns and colors and shapes and um, money and time and adding money and subtracting money, counting, a skip counting, There are 130 lessons total in this program. Then you have a list of materials. Most of these will be things from that manipulative kit. Each lesson is set up the same where it has a gray box with your lesson preparation that tells you the materials you need and what you should do to actually prepare the materials. And then after that, there's a meeting each day. This goes over calendar type things, skip counting type things, money type things, this meeting is actually really beneficial to do. I hear a lot of people skip it, but it brings up concepts that are going to come up later on in the workbook. It starts it off just orally um, in their morning meeting and they um, have their meeting book with their calendar and they write the date and that sort of thing. And there's uh, different things in the back like a hundred chart and things like that. Then after the meeting is the lesson. And what is in bold, you say. What is not in bold, you do. So this is a scripted program. It is also a spiral program, meaning concepts are reviewed continuously throughout the program. Also, you'll see that there are written and oral assessments. And in the teacher's book, it gives a little mini uh, student worksheet with the answers filled in. So of course, this is first grade, you know the answers, but that is helpful for checking quickly. All right, so this literally follows the same pattern every day with the lesson prep, the meeting, the lesson, assessment if there is one. All right, then we get into the actual workbook. And in first grade, they're learning a new number each day. There's always some sort of word problem. They learn time and money and addition and subtraction like I mentioned. There will sometimes be these masters like here, and it will tell you in the lesson, so this would be lesson 74, what to do with these masters. So there's no guesswork. You're not making this up yourself. Uh, every day there is also a math fact practice sheet. These are timed drills, um, but before these concepts are um, on the worksheet, they will be taught in here and there's little tips and tricks that they give them and in the way they teach them there's also flashcards that you review daily and it tells you exactly which ones to practice there is literally no guesswork with this program now i'm going to flip to day 75 uh, to show you an assessment assessments are only one-sided and on an assessment day they would take their assessment they would do this on their own then there's usually some sort of master this is usually some sort of activity then they have their fact practice sheet. Then they have their regular lesson worksheet. That's all for one day. So you might want to split that up. Um, and since there's only 130 lessons, you can split it up and it not be any big deal. Okay, now you'll notice on a regular lesson day, the worksheets are double-sided. One side is to be done, one side is to be done right after the lesson and the other side is to be done later in the day. However, we don't do the other side unless it is necessary, unless um, my daughter didn't grasp the first side quite well, then we would do the other side. But it is the same concepts, just differently on the back side, so I haven't found a need to really do those very often. So again, we have 
daily fax practice and worksheet. And you see they're kind of set up the same way each day. There's the other side. There's your master, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's how this works. Very similar each day. So if you have a student who likes things to be familiar, then this is a good program. Obviously there's no color. However, it will often direct you to color in different things. Um, yeah, like this one, color one third blue, color one half red, color one six green. So they often add color, but there's no color on the worksheets themselves. Uh, you can um, put these in a binder if you want. They are hole punched, obviously. Uh, we don't, we just keep it in the workbook. But um, I have found that Saxon Math 1 can be started in kindergarten. Some schools will do part one of Saxon Math 1 in kindergarten and then do both parts again in first grade. Or some schools will just do math, the whole math one in kindergarten. Or some schools will even do Saxon Math 1 in first grade. Do keep in mind that by the time you get to the third grade math, they're not just dealing with um, addition and subtraction and multiplication and division, but they're learning order of operations and exponents and fractions and all kinds of things. So it does kick up the volume as you go up. So keep that in mind. If you have a younger kindergartner or older kindergartner where you're starting out with, um, if you're going to start out with the, the K program or the first program, um, so my point is, is that I believe this can be used for either kindergarten or first grade, depending on your student. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.